Poetry Center bringing poetry to Patterson since 1980 at Passaic County Community College. Our next uh, winner is Martin Golan, Verona, New Jersey, and his poem is entitled Sitting in a Bar on the Upper West Side as my newly single friend tells Match.com stories. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great title, honey. <laughs> yeah, this poem was written uh, after being regaled by stories from my friend and so I think that being single and getting involved in online dating is one of those experiences in life that's utterly delightful when experienced vicariously. <laughs> and in fact, this is funny. I have a, I'm having an out-of-world moment because I have scribbled on top here. Mention Allen Ginsberg Poetry Prize. Like when I do this at readings to mention it, but I don't think I have to here, right? No, it's an honorable mention. Sitting in a bar on the Upper West Side as my newly single friend tells Match.com stories. Watch out for ones with pictures of their dogs, he warns, who demand a salary three times their own and far more than most men make, who has to be over 5'10 on financially secure. Don't they realize it's like a guy saying only women with big boobs need apply? <laughs> Take it easy, I say to my friend. Relax. But tell you what men should stay away the ones they're sick of from the last relationship, criticizing you before you've even met. No games, please, as if their ad isn't a game, the whole dating thing itself a game. I'm stunned how little know of what we men want. No wonder they're alone, he says. So why are you alone, I ask my friend, <laughs> who is looking for wife number three, estranged from his children, his life a mess, what assets he had gone in the last divorce? A star in high school, a babe magnet then, now trying to pick up graduate students half his age. All he's got going for himself these days is demographics. And why is everyone spiritual, but no one's religious, he starts again. I'd like someone who hates walking on the beach. Who doesn't like a walk on the goddamn beach? Calm down, I say to my friend who has begun to shout. Tell you the truth, he says, I hate these smart women. They're so exhausting. It's an old joke, and we laugh. Yes, those smart, accomplished women who know when you're lying, who know you better than you know yourself, yet remember the first time you used the word love. As he chats up a Turkish graduate student in awe of his paper on the covert sexuality of Victorian poetry, I take out my cell and dial your number. You do not answer. You do not pick up again after seeing my name. My friend comes back to say the graduate student says she has a friend and wants to know my story, who I am sitting all alone. I'm not alone, I say. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to find, like you, someone to save me. <laughs> 